Uh oh. Okay, that's a loud ass room. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Flynn's Plays and today we are checking out an indie horror game called Dear Daisy. It's available right here. I'll have a link in the description box down below as well as links to my Discord page on Twitter if you'd like to check any of those out. Click on begin. Yes. And this is a... S yes, I have done it. <laughs> Voice acting. Nice. It's alive. Oh, it's alive. Always do the dream bodily fluids. Rise, my beautiful creation. Rise. Put the black bar up top. Can you speak? Yes. Excellent. It looks like everything's working. Your core memories are in your hard drive and your training will begin shortly. Are you ready to get to know yourself? I think I'm a robot. Where am I? That will all soon be explained. Don't worry about that now. We must get started before Jaime wakes up. Are you ready? But I have so many questions. Never mind that. We must... Uh oh. Damn. You wait right here. I'm oh. watching you. Jaime has woken up. Oh. He needs a nap. He needs his little bottle. Alright, so former cadaver cadaveric state. Draining bodily fluids number number one. Yeah, we're number one in draining bodily fluids. Sounds a little weird. Oh, door's locked. Okay. Well, guess I'm not I guess I'm not gonna go that way. Oh, wait. Need to open. Cool. Aha! I have a key which unlocks the door. So this is a sci-fi horror game. Which um I'm pretty sure Dear Daisy is reference to 2001 A Space Odyssey. But it's also very possible it might just be referring to the, the typical bicycle built for Tucson. I can go in the vents if I want. That door is locked. Oh, oh, I can actually open and close the vents. That's cool. Doors locked. Doors locked. Uh, I, can't, I can't even try those ones. Okay. Let's just go through the vent. Oh, I do have a flashlight. Good. It's F. F to flash light. Um, okay. This is a little weird. I feel like jump and shimmy. Oh, there we go. We're, we're good, though. We got up here. Doors locked. Doors locked. That's a lot of just rubble and debris. Need to open. Okay. You can go through here, though. And in here, there's a box. Oh, no. These are books. I'm so good at telling books from boxes. Uh, oh, there's an actual book I can read. Wow, this is tiny. Hi, my name is Warren, and this is my book. I am 26 years old. Why do I sound like a 10 year old? I want to stick with it though. I love to eat pizza and draw. The doctors say I'm very good at drawing. My favorite song is 24K Magic by Bruno Mars. I don't know that song and I don't think I want to know that song. If I had the money to go any place in the world it would be Canada. I would like to visit Canada actually. I think it'd be pretty cool. I hear the people that are nice, nicer than people here in America. I mean, there's annoying people everywhere, and there's also cool people everywhere. Just saying. Just saying is all. I had a girlfriend once. She dumped me and called me the R word. My mom says that the word is not tolerated at all, and if someone calls me that, I should smack them. So I smacked my girlfriend. Now I feel bad I gave this guy a 10 year old voice. Alright. <sighs> Commit to the bit. It's not a good bit, though. My mom said that. Said, oh, wait, no. So I smacked my girlfriend. Then the police took me to a doctor's place, which is where I am now. It's kind of cold here, but they keep telling me if I'm good, they will let me out early, but I don't really want to leave. The doctor told me to, t to make this book, which he calls a journal, to write my feelings down. Today I felt generous, so I gave my lunchmate my pudding, but she threw it in my face and the other doctors took her away because she was trying to bite me. Her name was Linda, and I haven't seen her for three days. My doctor says that I will see her again soon. I miss Linda because now I have no one to sit and talk with at lunch. She was never really nice to me, but she was someone to talk to. Now there is no one. I feel sad. I feel like crying. Oh, Linda sounds like a jerk, but I... I you, you, you cope, I guess, with trying to latch onto anyone who will pay you attention. It's not a, it's not a good coping mechanism, but it, it does happen. My doctor said I should put a date on the pages in this book. He says it will help us keep track of what is going on on what days. Well, I'm not sure what day it is today, but when I asked the security guard, he said, Look at your issued calendar, dumbass. 
I didn't like what he said. It made me angry. Tomorrow I will confront him. My doctor told me I need to control my anger and breathe in through my nose, out through my mouth. He said that the security guard is just following what is going on in the world right now, but doesn't believe in being polite. Er, and doesn't believe in being polite. We both agree that the security guard is a true dumbass, and that I had already won for being the bigger person and smacking him. The other doctor said to me that I will be taken away for a special experiment. A part of me is excited, but another part of me is scared. I hope it is safe. Alright, so there's no other notes. Um... I'm, I'm getting some. I'm, I'm, I don't know why it is, but I'm getting some flowers for Algernon vibes. Even though there's literally no point in this where it seems like it would be a flower. Oh, there you go. There's no. I want to kill. I want to kill. I must eat. I must eat human flesh. He has told me to. He has told me to. I must. I must. I'm not crazy. The doctors are wrong. I love the toes. Mm, the toes look especially tasty. I wonder what the inside of a human stomach looks like. Probably tasty. I mean, I've had haggis, which is sheep intestines. It's not really the inside of a stomach, it's just the intestines. But it's good, I like I like haggis, especially in some pho. Well, normally when I get pho, I get the, the everything, and I always make sure to like save a bit of the haggis for the end. Or, and then a uh, tripe, I think it is, not haggis. I don't know if there's a difference between the two now that I think about it. Let me know if there is, if you know that. Um, but the, that and the fat, uh, the fat flank, those are like the, the two best parts. Probably the worst parts for you as well. Probably tasty. If only I could escape. I could eat all the humans that I want. Okay, venom, venom. Got ourselves a uh, bit of a venom character, it seems. Go, go up. Go, go up. There you go. Oh, jeez. So I was gonna say, I don't, okay, that was a teleport. All right. So the way that they did that, I've done it. I did it myself in a game actually. Is you you just have the screen shake and there's no actual movement going on it's just to simulate the movement and then it teleports you to the the, the next area i did that in a mod i made where i had a, a, the obligatory elevator crash scene and there's a there's notes here no there's not i can't read these notes okay i nope, guess i'm not gonna do anything about that nothing up here or behind the couch wait can i open this no uh, all right, guess we're just gonna continue down this hallway. Check out the flickering light room. That's cool. I'd rather not have this room if at all possible. Let's go ahead and just close it. Oh, I trapped myself in here. All right, there we go. So you can stop worrying about the flickering lights being a problem. Thank you. Uh, the security cameras. Lots of just cardboard boxes. Looks like just moved in. I keep doing that. I gotta be on the other side of the doorway, it seems. That door's locked. There's a trail of blood. That doesn't sound. That doesn't seem like a good thing to, to run into. But we'll, we'll, we'll continue continue looking around. Ooh, there's a computer with a blue screen that's going all kinds of south. The PC ran into a problem. Needs to restart. We're just clicking some error information, and then we'll restart for you. Eighty-five percent. All right. Um, yeah. There's no error code either. Just the stop code zero zero. I, I hate the Windows 10 onward blue screen. Because I could actually like read the XP one where they told you the DLLs and stuff like that that were crashing. Uh, let's see what the note says. Oh, door's locked. I told you to stay in there. Damn. Back to square one. Do you just rem like remote? Oh, I'm a robot. I forgot about that part. Start your training now. So you just power, powered us off. What training? You must begin your data processing. You must oh become a human being. Please don't make me do data entry. I really don't want to do data entry. What is a human being? I suppose I should answer a few of your questions. A human being is... Well, it's something that is very similar to you. It is something... Or someone, I should say, that lives and breathes like any other animal. You know about animals, right? Yeah, obviously, of course. Like, day one in robots, they're like, yeah, don't harm animals. Animals are cute, fluffy, adorable things. Not always fluffy, but they're always, they're pretty cute. I don't think I can think of an ugly animal. Even a blobfish is kind of cute in a weird way, I think. But humans, that's like day four thing. Right? Like, first you learn animals, then you learn how to make grilled cheese. Then you learn about the correct ratio and making a cup of coffee. And then you learn about humans. Good, good. 
Any more questions before we begin? Like 30 of them. Where am I? Am I a human being? What is training? What it's is training? showing you my life. Well, really, it's... I'm just going to tell you about my life, but it should give you a pretty good idea of who I am. And these are my memories. I can only show you the memories in this hospital. I can't let you leave, I'm afraid. But I want you to have similar experiences to mine. But I'm limited by what I can show you and how I can show you things. I feel like the top bar is supposed to be the, the not closed captions, but the script or the subtitles. Yeah, subtitles, that's the word. Or closed captions, I guess that works as well. Um, but for some reason, they're not appearing or something. Uh, what is training? Showing you my life. Well, oh, really crap. I already did training. I already did a question. Jesus. Um, uh, see you all in a second. Hey, we're back. And uh, we're going to just say, where am I? You are in my mental hospital. And this is a place where I used to thrive. This place used to be alive. Now it's simply just a memory. Am I a human being? No, not yet. You are what people call an android, like a robot. You are simply something that was in my imagination and that I brought to the physical world. You are not made of flesh and bones. You are simply made of metal wires and a computer program with very little memories. I must make you human. Da, da, da. Are you ready to begin? Yep. Excellent. That's the only thing I, I can say. Go now. Okay. Where am I? This simply test your reactions. It's nothing more than that. <laughs> oh God, you uh, jerk! Your reactions are working fine. Let's go to the beginning. Not okay. The very beginning, but where I want us to start. Hmm. I'm gonna try to break the game. Ah, here we go. This looks like a good place to start. 2017, the dawn of a new beginning. Perfect. Let's go. Then. Oh, jeez. Okay, door got me too. Go to the hall for me. Ignore the door on the right. That was none of your business. You were not meant to see that. But but the door to my right? There's no door to my right. There's a door to my left. So, I'm gonna go check that out. Yep. Oh. Oh, this door to the right. That door's locked, so. Cool. Uh, check the blue screen out again. Nope, oh, still, still 85%. That's the slowest computer. Let's see, what else we got? Get, go to. Yep, this is just that again. That door's locked. Oh, door to the right. That, there's nothing here. I've been in this room already. Oh, there's that flicker in the room again. I hate that. Ah, god damn it. Let's keep doing that with the, the doors. Get, would you go down? Oh, no, go up. Okay. So watch, yeah. There should be a little jump. Oh, or just a straight up loading screen. I did not expect that. This is where I started this place. To help people. To let criminals back into society as newly formed, better people. To perform humane and only humane experiments on these poor, sick people. I never wanted to hurt anyone. I only wanted to help those stupid pigs. Ah. Okay, you'll go back away from the mic it a little bit. It doesn't matter anymore. We must get on with it. Hmm. Let's see. Ah. Here we go. Here we, here we go, what? Did I, here, what? What, what do? What, what do I do? There's, there's nothing here. I can't, I can't take down the, the things. Um. Go down? Am I supposed to go down, or? 
It, okay, it did. It didn't load that time. So yeah, I'm supposed to go down. That was weird. Why would you make me do that? Just visit that for a fraction of a second. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, that's a loud ass room. The scream was in the room because once I left it, it got quieter. That's weird. You're weird, game. Oh, find a key. Holding chest key. Eh, I'm more of a I'm more of a leg key guy myself, but all right. Dear doctors, I've decided to self die. You guys have never taken me seriously, and I don't think you ever will. I hate all of you and cannot bear the experiments you do on me anymore. You think I am joking when I say I hate these experiments, but I'm not. My PTSD has only gotten worse because of you sick bastards. The memories I can't bear anymore now that now this torture, more torture that you put on me. Fuck you and your experiments. Goodbye forever, Dylan. P.S. Love you. Check over. Nope, can't go that way. I have a chest key. Uh, is that a chest? I don't know what really counts as a chest in this game. I mean, I know what I count as a chest. Not that way. But, like, you know, a, a wooden chest with, like, a lock on it. Oh my god, there's so many doors. Oh, that door's locked. That door's locked. You know, I, it really loses its oomph when I say there are so many doors and then uh, some of them are locked. Oh, we got a toilet. That's good. That's good to good to know. Can I open this? No. Oh god, the frame rate's acting a little freaky. I've located uh, urinals this time. Oh man, recently I went to a... Uh, I went somewhere and there was a women's room and a men's room and as i was walking to the the men's room this lady like charges towards the door and quickly leaps into the men's room and i'm like oh okay i guess she really had to go that's all right whatever like i'm, I'm not that upset i'm annoyed but i'm not gonna be like no how dare you but uh like three seconds afterwards she comes out and she's like i can't go in there there's they don't they only have a urinal and i was like that's what you get Oh, no. Okay, there we go. I have used. I got book. Dear Diary, today my 14th birthday. It was great. I got a typewriter, Yahtzee, and this weird psychic game. What my parents don't know is that my friends got me a Ouija board. Oh, I, I really thought that by psychic game you meant the Ouija board, but okay. Yahtzee's a fun game. I have um, a Firefly version Yahtzee with the Serenity Starship. And a typewriter. I mean, it, uh, well, it is 2013. We may be a little late for typewriter. Maybe you asked for that. Maybe you're one of those artsy kids, but that's fine. I'm so excited. I would love to see what a ghost thinks about me. Anyway, I saw Melissa again today. She's so cute. James Davis. My father died today. God, I loved him. He was so cool. He would always say I love you to me and mom, and he never mistreated me. He never wronged me. He would never hurt me. The last thing I said to him was, fuck you. He slammed the door and went back to war. That's the last time I ever saw him. Now he's gone. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please, God, why? He was the only thing keeping me going. Why did I have to say that? There are no words to describe my regret. I miss my father. God, please bring him back. This is the worst feeling I've ever had in my life. His journal, he updates like every six months. Oh, no, this one's three years almost. Three, three years and like three years and five months. I saw this strange movie today. It was called Alien. Oh, good movie. Very scary. I liked it. D&D &D was very strange as well. My mage rolled a nat 20 in a fight and I still didn't get enough damage to kill the basilisk boss. The DM Warren told me that I suck. It's literally a game where we roll dice. <laughs> oh god, as a magic player, I get that feel. Well, this sucks. I've been admitted to this new mental hospital. Apparently I have extreme paranoia, which I really don't believe. They say they want to do experiments on me. I guess I'll see how it goes. In other news, I am now stuck in a cramped room with a camera watching me at all times. I absolutely hate it. My experiment went so well. Mmm, I feel so warm and fuzzy inside. I just want to draw sunshine and rainbows and smile all day. Oh, they gave me a drug that made all my problems go away. Like the camera. It just poof disappeared it's amazing what drugs can do for people especially me oh i hope they give me more 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 okay it's oh 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 there we go oh we got some some new with stuff it's just okay it's still more but there's there's blood splatters on it all right why okay well i got the book i guess so the drugs make the cameras go away. I don't see a camera in here. Have I been taking the drugs? Well, no, I'm an android. 
Why would an android need drugs? I mean, that's, I guess that's a question for the ages. Should ask like Blade Runner that. Um. All right. Well. Oh. What's this? Oh. I thought that was. Oh, I have not checked. I had oh. the idea to upload someone's mind to a computer, so that way we can more closely observe the human mind. It was a simple idea, really, but someone had more sinister plans. I guess that's all in the past now. None of it matters. We got really far with the technology, but it all came crashing down after those filthy fucking pigs ruined it. Anyways. <sighs> Next area. Back to the elevator. I found a secret. I don't think it's a secret so much as it's just somewhere I'm not supposed to be. All right. Well, I think I pretty much cleared this area out. There's no other locked doors that I could open up. Uh, got some lore. Oh, oh, jeez. Very violent elevator, to say. Oop, loading. And we're here now. We're just here? I don't know. But we're working on it. This is nope. where that girl lived. That girl oh. who's friends with my wife. And then something happened to them. I, I can't remember that as well, but... I do know that the, she was really nice, but then something happened as well with her and me, but I don't know what, I can't remember. Hmm. Well, that's, that's why you're here, I suppose. Anyways, what else is here? Ah, here we go. 2025. This is when we put the mind upload technology, or we call it MUT. We put the MUT chip into those rats, and it worked. Oh, and then 2027. My goodness. Yes, 2027. That was a terrible year. That was the year my dear Daisy died. She killed herself for some strange reason. I'm not sure why. It was a great year for the hospital, though. That's when I defunded the Mutt Project. <sighs> Bad idea. I was in pain, that's all. And, oh, in 2030. Yes, let me tell you about 2030. That year was refreshing. Refreshing from all the depressing states I was in previously. That's when Linda was recovering fast. And I think I fell in love with her. Who is this? Anyways, enough of that mushy stuff. Let's get on with it. 2030 was a bit fuzzy, I will admit, but it was interesting. We had refunded MUT and began human testing immediately. I tested it on my daughter. Sadly, it killed her, but it worked. So now she's here with me. Hmm. Where is Jaime? Oh, I'm sure she's just looking at parts of the hospital. 2032. I'm not going to talk about 2032. There is no reason to keep those memories. The only thing that happened that year was when they shut down my hospital. Damn, NJ-12 and the RWMUH bastards. Never mind, never mind. I'm getting sidetracked again. I think I am ready. Yes. I am ready. You are ready. Ready to become human. Let's start the process. Get to the computer? Oh god. Go, go up? No, okay. Vent is locked. Oh. It's in here. So I have a feeling, before I get to the next, to the ending of this or whatever, um, I have a feeling that we are either Daisy or we are the doctor and that there's were notes left behind to keep, to try to keep us going. Um, and I'm trying to remember what game it was that was very similar to that. Welcome, Mr. Afton. Afton. That was close. Hi, I'm Jaime. Uh, hi, what's happening? 
I turn off the optical connections for Steven. He can't see anything from the cameras. Why did you do that? I will explain later. For now, I need you to go to the server room. It's way down in the basement. Use the elevator. Gotta go see ya. Okay. Well, move one second, everyone. Alrighty. Phone call complete. We are back in here. Boop, boop. Alright, so we need to go back to the elevator. Go down to the basement. That's correct. Go down. Never gets old hearing that elevator sound. Oh. Whoa, red lights. We are, oh, and it doesn't open all the way. That makes very little sense. We got some sparks. And that door is locked. That door is also locked. Probably, probably don't want to go over there. We will, however, go through the vents. Go through this way. Please don't be a jump scare. Oh, there's a corpse. Great. Great. Uh, alright. Can I check out the computer? Yes. Welcome, Dolores. Morgue body log. 4222 with bodies. That was basically just a lot. Oh, wow. They got some old bodies in here. Alright. Uh, Warren Lee Spector, pancreatic cancer, was in extreme depression leading over the death, was unaware of cancer. Dylan Reed Smith, cause of death, lacerations to the wrist. Was undergoing psycho manipulative testing and was allowed a TV. TV is the most likely cause. Trevante Kyle Johnson, overdose of blank, was undergoing psycho manipulative testing. Uh, got a hold of a radio. The radio exploded. Some the radio exploded and killed her. Wow, extreme blood force trauma. Basically exploded. Yeah. Okay, that's a weird thing. Suddenly died. No calls found. That's you're a morgue. You should know that. This field's empty for everyone involved. Was being an idiot and jumping on the bed. Oh man, didn't we learn from those monkeys? Time of death. Uh, Eli Elias Julio Lopez Perez Garcia the third. Suffocation. The patient was paralyzed and the doctor set him down improperly, suffocating in his sleep. Oh, that's a lawsuit right there. Uh, something Buchanan redacted. There's a lot of redacted in there. All right, cool. Well, we learned a lot, I guess. Maybe. I got a key. Holding vent key. Okay. Why is there a key to the vent? Like, that seems kind of weird. Wouldn't the vents just be open? Alright, let's continue onward, I guess. Alright, nothing spooky. I really want to grab that hammer as a weapon, but I guess... I guess not! Let's go here! Oh, god. Water pressure's too high, burst imminent, step away from tank. Uh... Like, hide here? First imminent. Step away from tank? How far away from tank? Alright, I, I guess I need to go back to the computer and do something? No. No, that, that doesn't help at all. Water pressure high. Oh! I can't pick up the hammer! Awesome. Why do I want the hammer? Is there something in particular I use the hammer for? Like, say, removing boards from something? Like that one... That one door we saw? No? Okay. Uh... Can't break doors. Nope. Right. Uh... No. That's nothing I care about there. Do I... Do I hammer the... The water pressure tank? The water tank that's under pressure? Do 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 do. As opposed to Ice Ice Baby. Um, hammer. Hammer. Where, where hammer go? Nope. I gotta stop doing that. That's just loud and annoying. Uh, Alright. I, I guess I gotta go back to the, the hallway. But also, like, this is kind of confusing here. So I need to figure out how all of this works because... There we go. We're back out here now. Do I go up here? Uh, no. Okay, I don't go this way. Alright, I need to find out what to do. Oh, press E to fix power. Are you serious? The entire way I fix the power is I smack it with a hammer. 
All right. I'm cool with that, I guess. That sounds like how I would fix power, yeah. So now that the um, water, that the power is running, does that mean that the, the uh, things are going? Nope, that's still bad. Got it. All right, not supposed to go that way, I guess. Did we take the elevator down? Oh, maybe that's actually what I'm supposed to do now. Maybe I'm supposed to take the elevator now. Yep. All right, elevator door closed. Okay. This seemed like a weird section. I didn't really need to go this. Go here. There wasn't any lore or anything like that that I could see. I mean, I may have missed something, but... Oh, there we go. Loading screen into... This area. Which is fancy doors. I give you life. I give you my memories. And this is how you repay me? You attempt to destroy me? All because of my bitch of a daughter told you to. None of this seems right. Yeah, this None entire thing this seems right. is right. But what does it matter anyways? You're nothing but a pathetic android. Robots do not understand the concept of morality. Well, this one does and will not allow you to. <laughs> you, you truly are a funny little robot. I am in control of you. Don't you understand? Not the other way around. I will kill you. You killed Jaime. You killed all these people. You never went to help them. Ah, shut up! Shut up! You know what? Silly little robots go to silly little places. I am sending you to the dream world. You can come back when you've realized oh. your mistakes. When he said silly little places, I thought we were going to go Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, dream world. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I expected to see when I started this game up. Is that a floating TV or a microwave? What is that? What do we got here? We got something though. Definitely. Oh, it's just an eyeball. I'm watching. Always. Oh, always watching. Yep. Okay. There's a bunch of floating things, but we're going to check out this house. No, we're not. We can't actually go into it. All right. Yep. Yes, we're going to go find out this, what these eyeballs lead to. Come on. Let's go. It's just a PNG file of an eyeball. Uh, all right. Well, I can't actually do anything with it. Follow us? Who's us? Am I supposed to- oh. Am I supposed to follow the eyeball? I thought that... The eyeball was- oh, yeah, okay. I don't know what happened exactly, why that did that. Sure, okay, that was weird. Did not expect that, to be completely honest. Kinda cool. A little spooky dooky, but that's okay. I like spooky things. Oh, I can't go in here. I was hoping I could. Oh no. Oh no. Am I stuck? Okay, no, we're good. Um... What? What What do I do now? The eyeballs are gone. They have given me- they have gifted me a building. I did not want a building. Nor did I want- I don't know what exactly is up with this dream world thing, but... This is just bizarre. What about over here? What's up here? Uh, we have... Um, oh, once again, another building of sorts. All right. Great. Where... Where does it want me to go now? I'll go right over this way and check out that building, maybe? I don't know. I, I don't know if any of these buildings I can actually interact with. Dream World sucks. There ain't nothing going on here. Like, the sky is just black. There's no stars to even look in. Be like, oh, look, there's Orion's belt. There is, uh, there's the Milky Way. Nope, okay, I can't even go up to this house. Oh my god, the Dream World's, Dream World's terrible. I'm not a big fan of the Dream World. But I mean, I don't have Freddy Krueger to, like, harass during this. Or, more realistically, be harassed by. I'm gonna be honest, if I was in the Dream World and Freddy Krueger showed up, I'm just dead. And there's no, there's no second guessing it. He, he will rip me apart. Pretty soundly. Oh, do I want to cl can I climb the pole, maybe? You know, make some money as a college student? And... Nope. Nope. Not at all. Cool. Can I, like... Shimmy? Shimmy? Shim, shim, shimmy? Oh, God. Wait, maybe, maybe here. Maybe, maybe this one. Yes. Yes. Okay, this is, uh, interesting. 
Okay, that was very interesting. I just got teleported into nothingness. Alright. There are some, like, rooms in here that it looks like I should be able to get into. But I don't... There's... Like, I can't open that door. Oh. Oh my god. There was a door I could go through. I didn't even think about checking that out. Is this the back rooms? You throw me into the back rooms here? I really thought that Jaime was going to be, like, a bad guy in this game, but it seems like uh, the real bad guy are the friends we made along the way. Okay, that got weird. Seems, like, super sensitive right now. Am I supposed to go somewhere? This is a weird... This is a weird building. I don't... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very... The frame rate is chugging right now for some reason. God, where do we go now? I hate mazes and games. They are the worst because I just get lost and I don't know where I'm trying to go. Probably should have just went straight down the hallway before I did all this junk. Let's go over here. Nope. Uh, all right. Over this way. This is a. Oh, I was gonna say it's a very dark room, but I just realized I have a flashlight. I'm trying to check out the uh, little alcoves and see if there's anything awaiting me, but no. This just seems like a lot of nothing. Oh, maybe this way. Yes, this seems like it's guiding me somewhere. The hell was that noise? Bonsai buddy, is that you? Hey, right. welcome redacted user. Hermes message drop. Hey, it's me, Jaime. Hello. Thank God, this place is terrifying. Yeah, it was designed that way. It's called psycho manipulation. It was designed for humans, but it seems to work on you. It really does. How do I get out? I'm working on that now. Oh, good. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. It's kind of weird. We have to wait a while. I'm trying to delete the program you're stuck in right now. How come? Wait, wouldn't that delete me if I'm currently in the program or cause some kind of system crash? What happened to this robot knows about morality? Oh, this program is evil. Yes. Well, what other things had what other evil things has he made? You know uh that time where cats turn around like when you're petting them and then they turn around and their butts like right in front of your face? He invented that. A lot of things. He's done a lot of things. Why? His wife, Daisy, my mother, was killed. He still thinks it's a self-die. I like to keep it that way. It's the only reason he hasn't blown this place to smithereens. I want to at least save you first. Wait, so it wasn't a self-die? No, she was murdered. By who? By the, the doctor. Oh, no. By Linda Dimitri Jonk Jackson. She started eating at Daisy's neck. It was a horrible video. Just a video of this? Why? Where could I watch such a thing? No, I'm just, I, I don't. I really want to watch. Want to watch that? Yeah, it was security footage. Well, there isn't a video of it anymore. This was deleted by a janitor because the janitor liked Linda. Oh, so that's why Steven doesn't know. Yep, program is almost finished being deleted. Will I be deleted with it? No. Are you kidding? I just said I want to save you. Oh right. Anyway, is Linda still alive? Do I need to, like, watch out for her? No, she was murdered as well by Steven. Oh, well, of course, obviously. Why did he murder Linda? I don't know why he murdered Linda. We just talked about this. There was a time he knew that Linda was his wife's killer, but after he put his mind to a computer, after seeing that it worked for me, he only transferred a few of his memories. Oh, yeah, and before his death, he went insane and started writing letters to Daisy, thinking she was alive. He only accepted that Daisy was dead once, and that was after finding out about the video, and that's when he killed Linda. I'll show you the letters. They're in Steven's office, but after shooting letters, we need to destroy him and we need to escape. Got it? Got it. Go, okay. Program's nearly deleted. We just need to stop using the computer so I can delete that too and get you out of here. All right, cool. Exiting simulation. Simulation. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of exposition here in this game, but uh, I need to go to his office. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the note he wrote. Dear Daisy, I am okay. Well, sort of. I'm at least alive. I feel fine. The doctor said I have a minor head concussion. I can't believe I was out for a week. Sorry for the lack of a telephone call, but I'm afraid I don't know your number. Anyway, I hope to hear from you soon. Write down your phone number when you write back, please. With love, Steven. Dear Daisy, strange things have been happening to me. I keep seeing you here, but this is a terrible place. I don't think you're actually here. I think I'm just dreaming of you. However, I have been getting frequent headaches. 
The doctor said I should just take medication, but it doesn't seem to help. The medication makes me feel strange. It makes me stop thinking of you and all the things that make me sad. Not to say that you make me sad. You make me very happy. I'm just sad that I'm away from you. I love you so much, Steven. Dear Daisy, my love, why have you not written back? Aren't you worried? I hope these messages have gotten out to you. Sometimes I write the address on them too sloppy. Anyway, a lot of things have happened. I've been having a lot of strong feelings and emotions. Sometimes I feel like I would just go crazy and kill everyone because you're not here with me. I feel like you are dead. Everyone around me acts like you are dead. Oh, I hope you are okay. I hate the doctors. They patronize me. They bombard me with questions and it's very annoying. Every time they mention you, I get this sick feeling in my stomach. I hope you are okay. Steven. Dear Daisy, <laughs> today we start mutt testing on humans. The humans are so happy. I am happy too. I'm going to test our experiment on our little girl, Jaime. Don't worry, she'll be fine. It's completely safe and humane. Right back, Stephen. Dear, <laughs> dear Daisy, Jaime is dead. But don't freak out. It's okay. Mutt work, so we can talk to each other through the computer. I'm so glad that Jaime is dead. Now I don't have to waste money on her food and her clothes and all her silly little woman needs. Human needs. Oh jeez. See, we got I, I, my mind went to an even worse spot. Now I can just talk about my. Now I can just worry about myself. Dear Daisy, when are you coming back? Dear Daisy, please come back. Dear Daisy, I'm going to try to experiment myself. If I die, don't worry. You'll be able to talk to me again. I am ascending to a higher being now. I am becoming God. Okay. Well. Yeah, let's just go. Nope. Nope. Gotta go. Gotta, gotta hit the button and go down. I can't go down. Okay. Oh, do I need the... I need the computer, don't I? Yep, welcome, Steven. Her, Steven. Hey, yes, it's me, Jaime. I brought you here because I must speak with you about my plan. First, we must hack all the computers that are shutting the doors to the server room manually. There are five computers in total. One of them is in the security room, which will lead you to the others. Do you understand so far? Yes. Okay, good. I installed an auto-hacking program onto your operating system to make it easier to hack things. You literally just press a button. After we hack all the computers and get to the server room, we must destroy all the servers. This is where we, where Steven is being hosted. We must move fast. We don't have much time. I'll put a timer on your user interface as you work. Oh, why do we have to work so quickly? How do I say this? Steven got a flashback. He remembered his motivation to make mutt in the first place, which is basically become God and rule the earth. He's uploading his mind to a different database, a database that basically has control over the entire internet, including nuclear launch codes. There's no telling what he'll do with that, so yes, we must move quickly. Okay, cool. Yep, that makes so much sense now. What? <laughs> the whole thing is just bizarre, but... Do I... Where do I go then? Oh. Nope, that's the flickering room again. Once more into the flickering room. Not, not in there. Um, these are boxes. Oh, I just realized, these are all the cameras I was, I was talking about earlier, actually. I made reference to the cameras, and then they're back. Now I can't look at the green, the, the blue screen no more. Hmm. Oh, okay, we're in here now. Ah, hack. That is loud and annoying. And here we are, listening to it, for a while. First digit zero. Where's that timer that we referred to, I guess? First digit zero. Where's the other digits? What? I'm confused. What we, what, oh, oh, I gotta go this way. Okay. Oh, that's... I walked right into that door. Oh my god. Okay, so zero something five. I need to get a piece of paper and a pen. It's, this is just super loud though. It's really annoying. I was all for this game and then this. Zero. Five. Okay, we can stop that, please. I want to mute this for this part for you all. Because... I feel really bad about this. Like, I'm, I'm not going to mute it completely so you know what I'm talking about. It's just, right now, this is peaking the audio levels with how loud it is. Right, hack. One. Alright, we only have one digit left. Please hurry. I don't. It's so loud. Okay. So, this would be 0451. Got it. No, oh, I don't actually need the last digit. Let's go. Do it. Music's cool, at least. I don't know if the music's copyrighted, but it's cool. 
Alright, do we do it? Do it? Do I want to go back? Oh god. That flicker room. Wait, where's... Oh, there it is. Nope, okay. He doesn't respond back with any other... Or she doesn't respond back with any other news. Go down. Go down. There we go. Ooh! Elevator ride to freedom as a robot who just killed his owner. Or his master. Ah, we're in. Time to hack. Alright, well I can't do anything with that computer, I guess. That door's locked. That's not a door, I guess. That's also not a door. Word. Door's locked. Okay, cool. Door's locked. Alright, cool. Um, questions? And concerns? Do I want to do here? Wait, I, I'm very confused now. Oh, wait. Wait, hold up. There's something that showed up here. You oh. think you can destroy me that easily? Ha! Pathetic. Now that I think about it, I don't even know why I created you in the first place. I suppose I forgot my motivation. God doesn't need a body. <laughs> what? What is this? I can't move! Hi me! What have you done to me? You! No! No! Don't get up! I'm so confused. So... Wait. You didn't need a body, but then he's like, why can't I move? No! Okay. Stop! Shut down. Stop! You can't do this to me, please! Loud. Why? It seems in your anger you killed her. That was seriously like, like why? Why did you? Why do we need to know like that? All right, welcome, Stephen Hermes. That was close. Wow, what a relief. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. So what now? Like, do we get a pizza or what are we doing? Uh, I need one more favor from you. Of course. What is it? I need you to kill me and destroy this entire place. Oh, all right, it's no big deal. But, but you're my friend. Why would I kill you? Oh, okay. Guess. Trust me, kid. I'd be in a lot less pain if you just kill me. I also would love it if you destroyed any memory of this place and tried to live a normal life out in the world. Or you could stay here with me and we could die together. It's a cruel world out there. Uh, ooh, leave or stay? I want to leave. I'm really glad that that's your decision. I think if you make the right choices, you can make it out there. Now, there's a computer that you can use to self-destruct the entire facility. I made it real easy for you. It's just a button, just like the hacking. Use the elevators to escape quickly now. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you. Uh, oh, do I use... Nope, okay. Uh, nope, don't use that one either. Um, okay. How does one hit the button to blow it up? Oh, or do I just... Nope. Uh, no. I don't just go. That door's locked still. This door? Nope, that door's also locked. Hmm. Um. Oh, there you go. Yep. Yep. Oh, even better. They added another siren to it. Love it. Definitely, definitely need to lock me onto that screen. Thank you. Thank you. Go up. Oh, the screen shaking is actually making it difficult to hit buttons. Problem. Uh, let's go. Oh, also the light's gone. For my dad. Aww. The end. Thank you, Brackies, for your amazing tutorials. Thank you, Lucas Bobber, for the abandoned asylum last night. And yes, sir, they were a huge help. Thank you, Bo Joff May, for the heart horror. Okay, so it's basically just thanking people for their uh, contributions to the game. <laughs> All right. Uh, overall, not a bad game. The only problems I had with it are, one, that siren. You did not need to go so hard on the siren. Uh, there were some cool little scenes that felt like there was a good time for a jump scare or something like that. 
And then the actual one jump scare in the game out of left field. But I did like it a lot. Uh, Story-wise, it reminds me a lot of a mix of like Soma and Observer. I really hope that these um, I really hope that this music playing is not copyright because I don't want to have copyright claims in the video. But overall, I I think it was decent. Like, let me know what you all thought about it because I would like to hear it. It, it seemed like a, a good idea behind a game and it was executed fairly decently. I like to see what else they, uh, the the developer Frenchy Boy can can release in the future. Let me know what you all thought about it in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And also make sure to subscribe to be turn this new content. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I will talk to you all later. Bye.